this video we're going to look at the next uh, system um, and remember a system is made up of lots of different organs called the respiratory system so we've done the digestive system we've done the circulatory system and now kind of it's the last piece of the puzzle it's the respiratory system obviously there's more systems but those three kind of really work together to allow us to uh, make energy from food and, and get our energy so what does our respiratory system do, do? Our respiratory system allows us to breathe so gases can be exchanged into the atmosphere. So we all know that we need to take in oxygen and we use that oxygen to make energy along with glucose and then we exhale out carbon dioxide and water. So these are kind of the waste products from respiration. So the respiratory system allows us to do this. Now it has, so it's basically gas exchange. It takes in oxygen and gives out carbon dioxide. Its other function, its third function is it allows us to make sound. So our respiratory system is what allows us to speak and sing and laugh and all those things. So let's have a look at it. And today's lesson really is all about just learning the names of the parts because you have lots of new parts uh, again to learn. And we look at it in each part in more detail tomorrow. So let's start with, say, air coming into the body. So air can come into the body by two ways. It can come in through the mouth or it can come in through the nose. Um, so when air comes in, it's warmed, it's moistened and it's cleaned. And particularly in the nose where you have, you have hair and mucus, that hair and mucus isn't just there. It's there for a reason. That hair and mucus actually cleans the air. It removes uh, dust and microorganisms, so bacteria or anything like that. It helps remove that and stops that, those, that dust and those microorganisms getting into your body, or some of them anyway. So the hair and mucus in your nose has that kind of function to help kind of clean the air as it enters your body. So the... Um, the nose and the mouth are kind of connected then and at the pharynx, uh, which is basically just a fancy word for your throat, it's the common opening where any air that comes into your body from both the nose and the mouth kind of meets at the pharynx or the back of your throat. And then that air moves down to your larynx, which is a fancy word for your voice box, which is at the very bottom of your throat. And that obviously allows you to make sound. Your voice box is needed for sound. And it passes down through the larynx, down through this really thick kind of muscular kind of tube known as the trachea. And that's an important one to know. The trachea uh, is basically your windpipe. And it's where all the air travels both in and out of your body. It has to travel through the trachea. And it's made up of these really kind of... Um, strong c-shaped they're like if you were looking down on one it would look like a c c-shaped uh, cartilage and the function of that that c-shaped cartilage is to keep the trachea open obviously if the trachea was closed you can't breathe or you can't get air into your lungs so it's really really important that that stays open so there's these c-shaped cartilage all the way down these rings that kind of keep it open and keep it um, secure so you can take oxygen into your body and give out carbon dioxide and as you move down through the trachea then um, we get to the bronchus and the bronchus splits into two we have our right bronchus and our left bronchus and the right bronchus bronchus goes to your left lung or your right lung sorry and the left bronchus goes to your uh, left lung. So I kind of imagine these as like almost branches on a tree. You have your trunk, which is trachea. It's a tree upside down. And then you have two big thicker trunks or, or branches called the bronchus or two bronchi. Bronchi would be plural. And then those bronchi actually um, divide up into smaller branches, smaller and smaller branches known as bronchioles. So we have trachea is the trunk then splits into two thick branches, the right bron uh, bronchi and the left bronchi, or bro right bronchus and left bronchus. And they split into tiny branches known as bronchioles. Um, so this is basically the path that air takes. So we have our air going all the way in, down, and then it will take one route to one certain part of your, your lung. 
and at the very end of the bronchioles, you have these little, what are known as alveoli or alveolus for single. And what they are basically is that this is where gas exchange takes place. So these little alveoli, and alveoli is the plural, alveolus for one, they're surrounded by capillaries. So what happens here is oxygen comes from the lungs into the bloodstream and carbon dioxide is given back out from the bloodstream into the lungs. We'll talk about them in a little bit more detail tomorrow. I'm just kind of naming the parts for you today. So that's kind of the route that the air takes. Air goes all the way down, down as far as the alveoli and back out then in the same pattern, reverse order. A couple other parts that you need to know. Obviously, we have our left lung and our right lung, um, and they're surrounded by these parts here, which is basically um, our ribs. So those little white bits here, you can see are our ribs. And in between the ribs are these things called intercostal muscles. And our ribs are there for protection. Obviously, they protect the lungs. Our lungs are very, very important. Without them, we, we can't uh, live, really. So the ribs protect the lungs. But you notice when you breathe in or when you inhale, your whole chest kind of expands. And when you exhale, your whole chest contracts. And what helps kind of your chest kind of swell open and get bigger to allow more air to be taken in is these intercostal muscles. And this other thing called the diaphragm, which is basically like a thin sheet of muscle. And what happens is when you inhale, these, this diaphragm contracts and moves down and allows the lungs to fill up with air and your ribs kind of open out. And then when you exhale, the diaphragm closes up the lungs as well. And again, we'll talk about this in a little bit more detail. I'm just kind of giving you an overview today. Uh, you have 12 pairs of ribs, by the way, as well. That might be something you need to know, 12 pairs. So there are all the parts. So what you need to do for today's lesson is basically learn all the parts, learn the order, and learn what each part does. And this is all on page 138, 139 of your textbook as well. So you can use this video and use those pages to make some notes on today's work.